Good afternoon and welcome to Customer Effects Training Webinars. My name is Dale Richter and today we're going to be talking about using the Query Builder in the SalesLogix web client or the SalesLogix cloud. Now I want you to hold on just a second. I'm going to switch over to my cloud version and we'll get started. This is going to take quite a bit of time, so we'll probably have to have different segments of the Query Builder. So look for more than one segment. Hold on just a second. Okay, so here we are. We're in uh, the SalesLogix web client, and this is my cloud version, and I've come right into the contacts here. So in contacts, you'll see in the upper right-hand corner, we have a groups button. So if I click on that groups button in the upper right-hand corner there, you'll see that it has uh, an option for add group, manage groups, uh, for the all contacts, and then your other groups here like uh, active campaigns, all contacts, do not solicit, all your other groups. So those are some of the groups. If we wanted to see them all, we can certainly go into manage groups here. When I go into manage groups, it shows me all my available contact groups. And right now they're all checked, meaning they're all going to show up in that list that we just saw. So I'm going to click on OK there. Now we want to add a group. So in this one, I'm not going to add all the different types of groups. We can also add ad hoc groups. We'll look at those in another webinar. But in this webinar, I'm just going to add a very simple group uh, of contacts. Contacts that are um, the account manager is Lee Hogan. And the, the state they are in is in either Texas or Michigan. So I'm just going to go to groups here. And I'm going to click on add group. It brings up my Query Builder, and we've seen this Query Builder before, similar in the LAN client. In here, I'm going to call my group uh, TX and MI for Texas and Michigan. Now, we both have a name, and we have a display name there also. In the description, I can put a description. Uh, these are contacts that... Lee Hogan is the account manager and they reside in either Texas whoops, or Michigan. So that just kind of gives us a brief description. If somebody else were to come in here, they know what this group is. But they could also always go and look at the conditions. So I'm going to move over here to my conditions tab. And in my conditions tab, then I need to set up the conditions for my group. I'm going to go up and highlight the contact table in the upper left portion of this screen. When I do that, you notice that it shows me all the fields in that table on the right side of the screen. So the field I'm going to choose here is Account Manager. And I'm just going to drag Account Manager down into the bottom part of the screen and drop it. And it'll pop up that Assign Condition box. In here in my Assign Condition box, I'm going to say that I want my Account Manager ID to be equal to. And then I don't know if that's a number or a name or how they put it in, so I can always browse to see the exact data they've used in that field. And here we see that now. And even though it is a number, they've associated with the name. So I just go down and find Lee Hogan here, highlight Lee Hogan, and click on OK. I'm going to take off the case sensitive, even though that is a, a system number that nobody could touch anyway. Um, so I would, I would be able to leave case sensitive on, but I always take it off. And I'm going to click on OK, and we've got our first condition there. Now the other condition is that they live in either um, Michigan or Texas. So I'm going to go down to the address table here. And here we've got shipping ID. So if we just want the address, I'm just going to go to the address table here. And I am going to choose in the address table now the state field. And again, I can either drag that down to the bottom or I can double click on that and it brings up the assigned condition box. I want the state to be equal to Texas. 
I'm going to put in TX there, take off the case sensitive just in case somebody put it in lowercase, and click on OK. Now I also want the state of Michigan. So I'm going to double click on the state again, bring up, put in Michigan in there, take off the case sensitive, and click on OK again. Now you'll see down here at the bottom of the screen, so far my condition says that the account manager needs to be equal to that funky number, but we know that's associated with Lee Hogan, so that's fine. And the state needs to be equal to Texas. Now we have, and again, the state need, needs to be equal to Michigan. It can't be both Texas and Michigan. So I'm going to switch this one here to or. And another thing I'm going to do here is bracket these state fields. So here I'm going to put in um, a, right, a left bracket right up on the top here. Click that little plus sign. And then on the third line, I'm going to click the plus sign at the end and bracket that. So those two last statements are bracketed. So that means it's going to go and do that first, just like in any, in any math statement. So it's going to go out and find Texas and Michigan first. And then it's going to also find the ones that are Lee Hogan. That's what we want for this group. So now I am just going to, I have the layout here. And we'll talk about more about this layout in another session. So you have the layout, the sorting, and the default tab. For this one, we're just going to look at those conditions there. I'm going to go up in the upper right hand corner, click on OK. It refreshes the database here. And now I see on the top here, my group, Texas and Michigan. In there, we have 70 records as we see here. As we look down our state field, they're either in Texas and Michigan. The account manager, if you look in the account manager field, they all belong to Lee Hogan. So if you come back and, and look at uh, the query builder webinar uh, number two, we will look more at uh, the layout of our group, how we can switch this layout, and we'll look at the sorting of the group also and perhaps even get into ad hoc groups. I want to thank you for joining me this afternoon and have a great day.